Um, uh, I would say the one thing I like about Pitt is that he's always going to take care of us. But at the same time, the mentality we have as a defense is while we're out there, when we're out there, we're going to go. Um, we knew coming in that it was going to be more of the younger guys getting more res, more live action. But the moment we step on the field, we know that it's time to go. No matter what the uh, tempo is or situation, we're always going to go hard and always try to make each other better. I think you saw it today that we were flying around and any chance we got an opportunity to take that rep or uh, whether it was just three plays, six or 15, it didn't matter. We were going to go all, all out. You guys are only going to be as good as your second group, as we've seen. You get injured, things like that happen. What do you think about the depth in the secondary? And um, you just you got some position battles and they, even things like that. Uh, I think it's at an all-time high. I think every day people are realizing that you have to put your best foot forward because if you don't, that guy that you competing with might have had a good day and took his step forward. And so um, every day I think everybody's been um, very detailed and focusing on that, making sure everybody's in the right spot at the right time always because if you're not, then, I mean, you might not be a starter the next day. So that's how I come in every single day. You know, I don't really care what I did in the past. You know, this is a new year for me. So every single time I step foot on the field, I'm competing to keep my job. So I'm always um, – we're going to make sure I'm in the right spot and being a leader and making sure everybody's in the right spot so we can be a solid defense. Malik at wide receiver. I'm curious from a defensive back standpoint, when you see four line up out there and you know that he could burn pretty much anybody, what goes through your head when you see a guy with that kind of speed line up out there? Oh, my gosh. Anytime I see him out there, I'm ready. To, uh, he got to be on a swivel. He's that type of athlete. I mean, he's going to – he's able to beat you – down the field, he's able to catch the ball short and make moves. I mean, I think he's influenced show that I mean, he can do it all. And to put him back at quarterback and still make the throws and still be that dynamic guy back there, I mean, that's hard to stop. So uh, I think he's a great addition to the offense in that manner as well. And I mean, I'm pretty sure, you know, we'll see a little bit of that going into the fall camp and going into the season for sure. But uh, I mean, I think it's good to have a guy that can do both like that. He can go out and play the receiver spot. He can come back and play quarterback as well. So, I mean, it's a good little package for him, and I think he's going to excel at it. You were out there in green today, and I saw you pop one of the receivers pretty good, jar the ball loose. Um, I guess because you just maybe detail kind of the, the, the mindset that you go into went into today with and I guess the physicality of the, of the secondary as a whole. Yeah, um, I know I was in green the whole spring and um, I think Pitt and the um, training staff, uh, weight room staff did a great job of just maintaining me. Uh, I know Pitt talking with the doctors and all that they could have told me, I mean, I'm good to go. They said they know I can go full, but why, you know, take hits on me when I don't need to. So they kept me in green, but I'm um, talking with Odom and I kind of talked with Browse too, so that the receivers would know what tempo I was. But every, everybody knew that I was good to go, you know, as far as full speed, running around, blocking. Um, I'm good to go, you know, you know, play me like I said, I'm in red. But as far as like going after anybody else, you know, I'm going to tag off. But anytime there's a play I can make on the ball, you know, I'm going to do my full to make it. You know, I think it was a good play I made. Um, Bryce, who's had a great spring so far, too. So, um, yeah, it was a good little throw from the middle. I just made a play on it, um, and it was a good effort. So Drew Sanders has got a flash today. Uh, what, what have you seen from Drew this camp? What does he bring to the table for y'all's defense? Domination. I mean, like Trey was just talking about, I, I see on film, he has a swim move that I'm trying to learn. You know, when I go blitz, like he just, every single time, he just does his move and it gets everybody. I mean, he has so much more in his toolbox. But like I said before, I mean, he just, you can tell that he's been coached and he's, very fundamental. I mean, every single rep he takes, I mean, it's detailed. And he knows how to hit the hole, too. And when that hole opens, he's going to hit it. But he's a great addition next to Bumper. And along with the, all the younger guys like Henley, Crook, um, Jackson Wooder, uh, Chris Pooh, I mean, all those guys are making plays. And so, I mean, our linebacking group is deep this year. And I think I credit the coach here for how he's um, brought guys along. And everybody's been playing up to tempo. So it's going to be an exciting year, especially for that group. And I'm excited to see what they all can do. I know he wasn't out there today, but Dwight McLeather, and what have you, what have you seen from him this spring? And then also uh, Brainy uh, in the secondary. What, what have those guys looked like? With Dwight, um, you know, he's my roommate, so I'm always, you know, watching film with him and talking with him. And But the one thing he brings is swagger. I mean, first day he came in, he brought that swagger at corner that he was that guy, and he was going to prove that he was that guy. And every single day he's been showing that, I mean, he's that dude, you know. I mean, there's 
of course, there's a lot of other corners on our, on our little um, dev chart that can make plays and have been making plays, but he's definitely got that stood out as far as his technique and just his mindset going in. I mean, I think he believes anybody you put in front of him, he can lock up. And, you know, to play corner, you got to have that mindset. If you don't, then it's going to be a long day for you. But he's been a great addition for us. And with Brini, Brini's been a great addition for us also at the safety spot. He's been doing a really good job of um, diagnosing plays and also just picking up the tempo, you know, always transitions from one defense to another can be tough. But he's picked up on it really fast. And uh, he's made plays throughout the spring. So um, I'm glad those two guys have made a great addition to our uh, defensive back room. I asked the other guys about Sam and maybe, you know, being a lifetime guy here, just your thoughts about what what Arkansas football has become with him? Um, I think I pick it back with Trey said. I mean, I think everybody has just, um, gained their hope back. I mean, I think everybody's proud to wear the hog now. I mean, everybody's. Um, I know we have a lot of diehard fans, but everybody wears that Razorback hog now, and I mean, they can feel proud about that, and that's what we want for the state. You know, they put. I mean, the fans and I mean, even y'all, y'all invest a lot into this program, so we want to do the same for, um, for y'all. We want to make sure we come out with our best foot forward because we know what y'all bring to us. So uh, I think Sam, uh, Coach Pittman just brought this little swagger back that, you know, we um, blue chip. I mean, every single time we go out, I mean, we're blue chip. You know, we're going to go hard. We're going to um, play fast. And we're just going to have this grit to us. And I think the whole team has displayed that throughout the year. So, I mean, the only thing, I mean, nothing different this year. We're going to keep that same blue chip collar that we have on our shoulder and just keep pushing and keep moving forward, you know, just keep our head down and work. Some of us were talking that Torian Carter might have been one of the guys who flashed among the most this spring. What have you seen from him? I know he got dinged up today, but what have you seen from his improvement? Man, uh, Torian, like I said, I played with him in high school, and I always knew the potential that he had. Um, he he can be a wrecking ball in the middle when he really when he really puts his head down and wants to. I think this this spring he's shown that. I mean he's he's been down and focused to the little details. I know Odom's been telling me that he's been doing a really great job, and I've seen it you know firsthand as well. But um, I'm glad that he's able to finally pick it up and realize that he's going to be the guy along with Zay uh, Zay in the middle as well. But I mean he's the guy up in the middle. I mean I'd say if he. I mean, I think the defense goes as far as he goes, you know. If he's plugging up the holes, he's making it a lot easier for the linebackers. And he's done that this, all, this whole spring. So I'm excited to see him go into fall camp and, you know, just kind of pick back where he left off at. And then when the season comes, I know he'll be ready to go. What do you want to get out of these last three days of spring? Uh, just kind of last little details you need to work on, you know. I always say it doesn't matter, like I said, no matter what the tempo is or how many reps you have coming in. I mean, you always want to f focus and make sure you're getting better each and every day. So I know as far as our group um, as a whole, we're going to work on just the, anything from the scrimmage they saw me to work on, whether it's, you know, man coverage or getting off blocks or anything like that we'll work on. But I think so far, I think everybody's been doing a great job of focusing on the details and um, just trying to get 1% better every day. And I think it's shown every single practice. You can see improvements by everybody. But uh, for me, I just want to keep on leading and keep being that guy for the room. At the same time, work on anything personally that I have to work on um, and just keep getting better. I was curious, Jalen. I think most people can appreciate a dynamic when like a, a freshman comes in and they look up to the older guys and maybe some tough love and you guys rib them a little bit and all that kind of stuff. But when you bring in like such a large group of older guys that are transfers, I'm curious what that dynamic is like at, 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 at the start when you know they come in because they have experience playing and that kind of stuff. What's that, what's that interaction like? Uh, it's honestly, it's, it's, it's humbling because, like I said, it's, for example, Brini, like he's a guy that played at Georgia. He won national championships, so he knows, he knows what it takes. He's seen it happen firsthand. He was there for it. So when he got here, he, you know, he was able to implement a little bit of his, of his mind of what he thought, like, you know, what he knew and stuff. And, you know, we kind of just said, hey, I like how you do this. How is this going? Or, hey, hey, Brini, I like how you did this. What's this? So I always say that, you know, you always want to be a sponge. It doesn't matter how old you get. You always want to take information because, you know, you can never learn too much. You know, you always add stuff to your bag. So uh, I always say we always like to piggyback off each other. And, you know, same with Dwight. Dwight's helping out some guys at corner, too, saying how he did, you know, some technique stuff he learned at LSU or things like that that can help us out. So, you know, I always say that we can – if you can't – if you don't if you don't try to get better every day, I mean, you're just – you're cheating yourself. So, every single day we're picking back off those guys. You know, I know Drew Sanders also been helping out some linebackers as well with some pass 
rush moves and some um, getting off block moves. You know, I don't think he's talking about his swim move yet, but um, definitely that will probably come down the road. But like I said, it's, like I said, the main thing I say is that those guys came in and they bought into the system, and I think everybody's seen that, and nobody's afraid to say that, hey, how you do this or ask for help. So I think that's the one thing that's um, the most mature about our group. Taxes in order and everything. Oh, Got yeah. all that figured out. <laughs> Facts. It's a new experience, huh? Oh man, big difference. But nah, my mom's been getting me right with that for sure. So she's held, she's held me down with that. <laughs> Thanks, Kat. We got Bob too.